huh, is it Asus or is it Asus? I don't know. Either way, this is the Zenwatch unboxing. At first, I had absolutely no interest in the Zenwatch. I was like, another rectangle with Android Wear and, you know, big bezel, small screen, not interested. In the end, it was the classy design that convinced me to give it a try, after all. And I'm glad I did, because it made a really good first impression on me. I'm not really fond of the watch band, but you can change it to any 22 millimeter band. So that's, I think that's great. No surprises in the box. You've got this charging thingy. It's not like the wireless charger of the Moto 360. You click the watch into it. Then you connect it to the USB cable and of course the power plug that are also included in the box. I'm still debating, but I might like this design even better than the one of the Moto 360. But is it any good? Because you don't want just a pretty smartwatch, you want a good smartwatch. I've been using the Zenwatch for about a week now, and I'm happy to report that first impressions are really good. I do get annoyed by the black bezels around the screen, but the screen itself is much better than the one I'm used to on my Moto 360. So that made me a really happy camper. Of course, the Zenwatch has all the bells and whistles you've come to expect, like measuring your heart rate or tracking your steps and logging it all in this neat wellness app. So I'll be trying out all those bells and whistles and especially the battery life and we'll post a full review in a couple of weeks. That's it for today. Thank you so much for all the cool comments I've been getting. I really do appreciate it. See you next time. Have a great day.